Welcome to Children's Worship on the seventh Sunday after Easter. Easter seems like a long time ago, almost two months, but we've been living in this Easter season, celebrating the uh, resurrection of Jesus and just being excited about what that means for our lives. Um, as we start off, uh, let's sing a song. It's called It's a Happy Day, and it's always good to have a happy day. So you can just join the, well, the words go like this. It's a happy day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a happy day, and I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy day, and things are going to get better, and they are going to get better. Live in each day by the promises in God's Word. So let's try it. It's a happy, happy day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a happy, happy day, and I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy, happy day, and things are gonna get better. Living each day by the promises of God's Word. Let's try it again. It's a happy, happy day, and I thank God for the weather. It's a happy, happy day, and I'm living it for my Lord. It's a happy, happy day, and things are gonna get better. Living each day by the promises of God's Word. It is a happy day, and um, I think it is good weather. It's great. You know, we had a little bit of rain this last week. But it's great to have good weather, and uh, there's lots of things that, that may seem like they're not going very well. But it is God that things are going to get better. They are going to get better. In our story today from the Bible, we're continuing to hear what Jesus has to say to his disciples before he uh, was resurrected and went, and went to heaven. And... Um, it's interesting, today's reading is actually a prayer that Jesus is praying for us. And Jesus' prayer is that we may continue to live in God's word and trust God and together be examples to the world of how to live because we've seen Jesus and we know Jesus. And because we know Jesus, then we know what God is like. And first and foremost, Jesus is about love. Uh, I mean, there's so many things he did. He healed, he taught, he cleansed. Uh, what, did, what else did he do? He forgave, he walked with people, he gave words to people of comfort, told them what they needed to do in order to live a better life. But the word that captures most of all what Jesus did is he loved. When he looked on, when he saw people, he had, oh, it's a big word, compassion. He, for folks that were going through hard times, he felt sorry for them and did what he could to help them. And for folks that were sad, he, he could feel that sadness and he hoped that it, it would be better. He would do what he could do to make sure they had a happy day. And it's a real comfort to know that Jesus prayed for us, for his disciples and for us, and I know Jesus is praying for us right now. Jesus' desire for all of us, for you, is to have a happy day, to have a good life, and also to find out how great it is to love other people and to be nice and kind. And what's amazing is you do that, it's just like your life gets filled with love and kindness and niceness. There's a song that um, I sang uh, I guess it's a couple of weeks ago now. Um, it's it's from First John four seven and eight. It's about God being love, and so I just let's just sing that one again. Uh, it goes like this: Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Those who do not love. Do not know God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. That's the address where you can find it in the, in the Bible. First John, it's a, it's a letter written. First John 4, 7 and 8. 
And so if you if you want to go read the, the translation you have in your Bible, maybe a little bit different than this, but I guarantee you it uses the word love a lot like this one does. So let's try it again. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God, and knows God. Those who do not love, do not know God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. We're going to sing it one more time. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God. And knows God, those who do not love, do not know God, for God is love. Beloved, let us love one another, First John 4, 7 and 8. I kind of like that, how it goes, First John 4, 7 and 8. And it always helps, sometimes I have a hard time remembering the address of something in the Bible, and I love it. On this song because it has it built into the song um, let's uh, just like Jesus prayed for us so let's spend some time praying together so if you'll fold your hands again you can do it like this or like this for some reason I this always felt more comfortable for me but let us pray and this will be a Pete repeat dear God thank you for loving us Thank you for giving us your son. Help us to love each other. Thank you for the people you put in our lives to love us. And we want to pray for them, for our parents, for our brothers and sisters, for our aunts and uncles, for our grandparents, for our friends, for our teachers, for our neighbors, and for everyone, just as you prayed for us. We want to pray for them. Amen. Now, usually, uh, after we say the prayer, I'm going to say, wish you well and have a good time. Um, but as I was going through my songbook, I ran across a song. It's just a silly song. It's called Matilda the Gorilla. And I haven't played it for so long. And um, I just thought it would be fun to play it. And there's a, the chorus, um, I think you could figure out. It goes, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. So during the chorus, you make your best gorilla sounds. You know, like, however. Okay? So, uh, I, I hope your parents don't get too mad at me for singing you this song, but it's fun. Let's try it. I had a pet, the gorilla, and her name, she was a Matilda. Matilda loved to sing songs every day, and this is what Gorilla Matilda would say. She'd say, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. So we'd go strolling through the park You know the people would laugh and the dogs would bark They never understood her when Matilda would sing But Matilda was doing her gorilla thing Singing ooh 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 ah 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 Ooh 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 ah ah Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. 
Suddenly the circus man came along. He said, Matilda, I know where you'll fit and belong. We'll put you in the circus to sing your songs, and you can monkey around all day long. Matilda was happy as can be. She'd eat her bananas and swing from the trees. Now at the zoo you would see the singing Matilda family singing. Ooh, 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 ooh. I hope that was fun for you. And um, parents, I'm so sorry I taught them this song. Have a great week. And um, oh, next Sunday is Pentecost. And that's the day where traditionally we wear red. And so next Sunday when you get up, if you can remember, put something red on. Red has to do with the fire and the movement of the spirit. And it is kind of a fun thing to do. Bye-bye.